how much does it cost us to live this lifestyle? Six thousand dollars. It's pretty much six thousand dollars a year. Well, cost of living. So we're in our cost of living. We're considering lot rent. Mm-hmm. So like that's our mortgage. We don't. We don't have. Yeah. We like bought this, this with cash, so we don't have like a payment. Yeah. So like we lot yeah, rent. Yeah, it could be different if you didn't buy it with cash. Okay, and then our phone bill and our internet, internet. bill. Gas, because not only is it our home. It's a car <laughs> and propane. Yeah. That's all that we're considering our cost of living. That's a pretty typical. It's pretty typical. For, but like we don't have a car like we don't have like a car. Yeah, we don't, well that wouldn't be included in the lifestyle really. I mean, yeah, we like to we like to use cash uh for as much as we can. We don't really do a lot of small purchases. It's always big purchases. So like our car our car is like a four thousand dollar car. Have, we, like, we don't we like to have like yeah. bills. We don't like yeah. to have like p things we have to pay off. And this lifestyle definitely <coughs> helps with that. Yeah. So, uh, from the beginning, I guess our lot rent a lot. or so. So we used to, you know, pay rent for houses and apartments. Uh, we don't really do that anymore. We joined Thousand Trails. Because uh, there's one close to work. Uh, because I still have a, I still have a job, a, a main, a main gig. Main hustle. Um, so, we joined Thousand Trails. A lot of people have a lot of negative things to say about Thousand Trails, and we just haven't ever really experienced that. I mean, I think there was one in like Pennsylvania that the people were, the they gate were, guard. They were was having rude. a bad day. I don't know. Something. Oh well, the gate guard is rude. I don't care. You get that at Burger care. King. It's not a, it's not a thing. So. Um, but we joined Thousand Trails. We joined it at a, not at a, but like they were in having the a summer. sale, like they like they always like do. In May or something. Yeah, they're always having sales. So we we got three zones. I mean, well, okay, like every it yeah. seems like it almost seems like everyone who has a Thousand Trails membership they paid a different price for it. Doesn't it seem yeah, like well, that. Yeah, well, well, that's because if you've had it for a long time, there was different ways of buying it and they're but always now having they're, sales and stuff yeah, so now they're like, pretty simple yeah. you're either going to spend around five hundred dollars for a year which is what we did or you're going to spend five thousand dollars for a lifetime basically but then it's like a timeshare and you have to sell your way out or something <laughs> not for us so we're just going to describe the way we did it yeah. we bought a motorhome so that we would travel we would move we wouldn't be stuck in one place so we liked the idea of the the base package from Thousand Trails, which means you have to leave every two weeks for a week. You have to get out of the entire system for one week every two weeks, which is awesome to, to so me. So like two weeks on, two, yeah. one week off. Two weeks on, one week off. And yeah, all that means is you just have to go somewhere else. So like we will be at our normal Thousand Trails. Um, and then we will just go to a state park or a county park, which is around or 150 like a bucks, house. or a friend's house if we want to or just hang out, because that's awesome. And we have been welcomed every time we want to go to someone's house and say, yeah, heck yeah, come over. That's awesome. And then we will end up like cooking dinner for them while we're there. But um, maybe we should count that as cost. Of yeah. <laughs> so. So if you divide $500 over the year, that's what you have that. Uh, I think it, forty-one I forty-one dollars a, yeah, a month. Oh and wait, then, no, no, no. So five hundred dollars, yeah. but then we have. Yeah. Well, it's like it just depends because sometimes yeah. we stay at a state park, which will be like a hundred fifty bucks. For but the you week. can pretty much average it out. I mean, or three of we the don't. three of the four weeks, a month will be in a thousand trails thing, which we're paying nothing per night. We we're told you have to spend three bucks a night. We pay zero after like an month. initial month of free. I, we, we haven't don't. been charged a thing. It's been free every night. Maybe. But see, like now, I feel like net like the membership we got was a zero dollar a night thing, yeah. and now they're also offering the three dollar a night thing. It's weird. 
Whatever. Either way, three dollars a night is still not <laughs> basically nothing. Yeah, that'd be fine. So okay. it's that. It's a thousand trails membership, which keeps the cost crazy low. <coughs> and then state parks and county parks are friends, which is either one hundred and fifty bucks a week, one hundred and ninety bucks a week is the most we've ever paid. Yeah. But then it all, you know, it all equals itself out at the end of the year to just being very cheap. <laughs> Either way, it's like way less than like we when we were in our apartment, it was eleven hundred dollars a month, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we had like yeah. a two hundred dollar yeah. electric bill. Yeah, and see, this includes that because if you don't stay longer, if you stay longer than a month at an RV park, generally they're gonna charge you, they're gonna hook you up and charge you for the electric. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're staying a week or two at a time, then that's all included, all your water and all your electricity. Okay, our phone bills are kind of high our phone our phone bill is 200 dollars a month and our at&t which is like our hot spot and we also have like yeah. that tv thing is 95 dollars. Oh, yeah because yeah, we so we have unlimited on both verizon and at&t you're also paying for a phone monthly yeah that includes the cost of the iphones and but we have internet wherever we go it's unlimited and if verizon isn't working then we can use at&t if at&t isn't really working that great then we can use verizon mm -hmm. and I don't have been, a problem yeah. paying a lot for our internet and phone because yeah, when well, we, we do them. business on yeah, online like we and use them a lot. We have there's, have there's a kid that likes to watch TV and play games, you know, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, and that's still, I don't think that's crazy. I mean, it seems like a lot yeah. to me, but, but if you're saving so like much in another we'll area pay, yeah. and everybody needs a phone, a lot of people like internet and TV <sighs> and okay. we don't have to have a dish. Or we don't ever hook up into the cable. Yeah. It's just Netflix and that stuff. And well, it, we don't even worked. watch the live TV most of the time. It's like yeah. we have it if we like. Right now we watch the Olympics. Yeah, I just once. I only I literally <laughs> only have it for the occasional sports that I yeah. Sports. Yeah. Okay, so but we can talk about that too. That was that that was with AT and T. If at the time. See, everybody changes their things. You Let's just have not to tease them. I know you have to grab them when they're available, and maybe you can talk somebody into it. I'm getting like hit in the face with yeah. the light. Work right up the AT and T head. thing is we we got it before they apparently ended it. It was a unlimited. It's a hotspot. We don't have a plan with them for anything else. We just went and got just a hotspot plan on unlimited. And it has actually been unlimited. They have like that threshold 22 gigabyte thing where they could slow you down due to congestion in the area but we haven't maybe we've noticed it once I don't know but it doesn't sure doesn't feel like it <clears throat> before that we tried using hotspots on our phones and stuff and that would knock you, you down only to have five gigs it would knock you down to unusable speeds <clears throat> so yeah. we jumped on AT&T and they have allowed us to be actually unlimited uh, unless it's too crowded in the area and we haven't experienced that and <laughs> so we were able to watch all the TV we want. Like we actually average around 400 gigs of internet on just our hotspot. We're a bunch so, of nerds, we yeah. do a lot of nerd stuff on the internet. Um, okay, so the last two things are like things that again, we don't, yeah. okay, so gas, <laughs> gasoline in this thing. Yeah, gas was kind of hard we to really calculate. We really rounded out because we don't. <coughs> no, we I mean, unless we're doing a big trip, it's not, we're only moving probably 10, 10, 10 or 15 miles at a time for two weeks. So what did we figure out? Like, we'll fill up I think it was like, like a fill up every three months. So like four times a year. And so the tank, we have a 75 gallon tank. Yeah. And we get about seven and a half seven miles, and a half miles per gallon. Seven and a half miles a gallon. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just. If you break down what it would cost, it's, I mean, it, it's like 60 bucks a month. If you were to do it, if you month. if you but only again, fill up or not fill up, if you if you go and get like twenty five bucks every time you drive, yeah, then it would be like sixty bucks a month, yeah. Which is kind of what we're doing now, because yeah. we don't fill up anymore because it's pointless. We're, we're gonna do another video on like <laughs> when we were actually traveling, like crossing the yeah, country. what that costs to put what four thousand miles yeah. on in a month. Yeah, because that was very expensive, but. It was, but we're just like yeah. living here, like we kind of treat it more like a tiny home where we're actually living full time. We work full time. We're not like driving mm. all day every day. We drive from this spot to the next, yeah. like two times a month. 
Okay, and then propane. <laughs> propane is another strange one because we are not like the ordinary RV. I mean, we just went through our winter, which everybody was running their propane a lot, I guess. We've never had to do it, so we don't know because we have the mini split. The only thing we use propane for is to heat the water. It's the water heater and the oven and the grill. And the, the oven the, and the, the, yeah. the stove top. So we 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 filled it up one time, and we've yeah, and it'll, it'll, been a year it'll since run we've the, had it. It'll run the fridge, like when we're driving or something. So like, well, let's say we filled it up twice since we've had it, but that's because it was empty. Oh, this is what I have. So if we filled up two times a year, yeah, it's one hundred forty dollars. That's basically what we're on right now. Yeah, we we filled <laughs> it up when we first got it exactly it a empty. year ago, but actually no. Yeah, I mean, when we so, first started living in it. Yeah, two, I mean, basically we fill up twice a year, which is crazy for people to hear. Well, because we people have, have to use it for their heat. But we have a hundred pounds. Yeah, it's. I mean, we have a hundred pound capacity of propane. So it takes like seventy. Which is like thirty-one fill. gallons, I think. And but then they fill it up eighty percent, as a rule. Um. And we also, we get it from the Thousand Trails. So we get a discount. Which is, yeah, there's a discount to it. So it just, like, it depends. Like, you I c you can really make it however mm -hmm. cheap or how expensive yeah, you see, want. Yeah, because that one, this one is completely unrelatable, I would say, to most Unless people. Unless you have a mini split, yeah. you have to use your propane. I don't know of any but other space another. heater. <laughs> but you have to be plugged in to 50 amp to use a space yeah. heater, I think. And there's another, uh, there's another plus for if anybody's wanting to think about getting a mini split. Especially if you do live somewhere cold, our, Heat too, yeah. I mean, because if you are somewhere that's cold longer than a few months, that's going to save you a fortune. I mean, eventually, because you can, I mean, we paid a thousand dollars for the mini split, top version, and so it, I don't think it would take you that long to save that cost in propane. Yeah, I mean, we spend a hundred forty dollars apparently. Yeah, a year, and that's a year. twice. So if people, if, people are filling up, if people are filling up multiple times a month, which I think some people actually are. Oh my god, that's really that's, expensive. Yeah, that saves. Yeah, I don't know. There was another person on YouTube that had a mini split on his fifth wheel, and he was, that was why, to for the cost of propane. Yeah. We do it for air conditioning mainly, but. Okay, so that all comes out. Just again, rounding up, six thousand seven hundred eight dollars a year, mm -hmm. five hundred fifty nine dollars a month. But again, some of those costs aren't per month. Like <laughs> no, and it's and it's specific. It's all specific to the person. And I'm sure next year maybe it'll be a different price for us. Like maybe we'll start doing something. I don't know. We're, like we're don't gonna know. we're gonna stay in the thousand trails thing yeah, for sure because yeah. that's a big part of it. Because if not. I guess you're it would finding, be pretty expensive. Yeah, you're finding if you had at to thirty pay. or forty dollars a night at KOAs and other places. It, that would be really expensive, yeah. And if we didn't have like a friend or my mom to park at on the off week, you mm -hmm. have to pay. I mean, if you can get a two, two like two hundred dollars yeah. for that off week, it's like that adds up. But there you go. But yeah. If you wanna. If you, you can wanna, make it yeah. cheap <laughs> if you. Yeah. If you wanna feel. If you live somewhere that's like not Florida and you have okay weather too, like you could stay mm -hmm. at Walmart and and, and not die. <laughs> like, like we would just die in here if we mm -hmm. stayed at Walmart. But yeah, when we were up north and like the weather was okay, mm -hmm. it was, yeah, you could yeah. stay a night at Walmart. There are a lot that's of things, free. Yeah. Like, Freeing up that money is a great feeling. So if you can figure out how to just lower your costs Drastically, it so, makes you feel like a rich person. <laughs> really. Then there's a kind of a drawback, but I don't see that as a drawback. We spend a lot of money on on food. Oh, that was what we said. If we're gonna spend money, like if there's a surplus of money, it's going towards food. If we're spending money, it's gonna be on food. food. My <laughs> gosh, can we, we eat now? We're love to eat. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I only had guacamole. But today, the thing so. is, we have not been eating well this week. Well, actually, we have, but I don't want to. I want to start eating. So some. this <laughs> week, we spent two hundred dollars on groceries, and and we've been like cooking at home, which is good food. Yeah. But then once we run out of that food, it's like. The next week we'll just only eat out. We'll like just just eat out for every meal. <sighs> yeah. 
No, we don't have to. So the necessities. Well, again, again, we don't have yeah, to. Yeah, the necessities are this. Yeah. And, uh, and then you, yeah, you can just make your own assumptions on how you'll do food, I guess. <laughs> after that. We really love food, like we. Do. That's it. Sixty-seven hundred bucks a year. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. We don't make a yeah. That's the end of this video. Yeah, I guess. So. I guess. I guess it's pretty quick, but to the point. You can do this. Anybody can do this. I I, I try to talk everybody I know into. Nobody doing has started. Nobody's done. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's everybody's taking us up. Everybody's pretty excited about when I yeah, when I say. That sounds great. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it though. When they say when they talk about the the new apartment or house they just got for twelve hundred bucks a month, I say, well, well, well hold up. <laughs> okay, uh, I I this is what we do. This is this is what it costs us. Yeah. And then they frick, they freak out. They frick they, out. They frick out. <laughs> and then everybody comes and visits us. Yeah, we're like the hangouts. Yeah. I like having people in here though. It's cool. Like. I like having to like shuffle by someone. It's, it's so. fun. I don't know. Yeah, we had ten people in here the other day. All it's cool. Everyone has out. to sit like this close to each other. You have to really like yeah. who you invite over. Cool. All right, cost okay. of living done. Now on to the next video we're gonna film today and just get them all out of the way. Okay, bye. What? <laughs> what does it cost? <laughs> what? I'm just gonna do that. That's how that's how it'll start. This video will go boom. Oh it's like God. one of those things. What does it cost? What does it <laughs> cost? <laughs> what? I hope nobody minds that we're like in the same clothes. Okay. Oh my god, you are the same color as the couch. No. I ask and you were gonna answer. Okay. What does it cost us for a year to live this lifestyle? Well, it costs us six thousand. No, I don't like that. Say it not like an infomercial or something. You were saying it like an well, No, I sound <laughs> just the way I sound. You changed the way you say it. <laughs> Well, 